Hey, good evening. Welcome out to Wapakoneta High School. It's the home of the Redskins as we have Western Buckeye League Volleyball for you this evening. Between the host Lady Skins and the Shawnee Lady Indians. Hi, everybody. Garrett Vance, good alongside Don Nevergall here on the West Ohio Sports Network. Anytime you get a WBL matchup, Dar, it is meaningful. It is high intensity. That's what we expect tonight. Wapa Canetta, a very different looking team from a year ago, and Shawnee, one of the best in the state in Division II. They clash here in a conference battle. Yeah, but you can throw records out the window when it comes to the WBL across the board. But you're looking at a Shawnee team coming in 11 1, 4 0 in the WBL. Now, their only loss this year was to Coldwater, a 3 2 set, you know, a match. You know, on August 22nd. Before that, the Indians had, had lost, had not lost a set, going 24 and 0 before that loss. And so far this season, you know, in all sets they're 32 and 3. So, you know, they're having an outstanding season now. This is a team that's never won a WBL championship or co-championship in the in volleyball. Right now, they're tied at the top with Ottawa Glendorf at 4 and 0. They are poised to break that strain right here. While Wapak, different story. Now, 1997 is their lone volleyball championship, but they're coming off a year in which they are losing every w, all WBL performers, including a, now playing at Alabama, Kaylee Palmer, the player of the year in the conference from a year ago. They're 5 and 8 coming into play as they'll get the first point of the night. Let's meet the starters. First for Shawnee, they'll have Carly Hutchins. Addie Maxwell, Kelly Cooper, Mackenzie Brickner, Leah Ronasil, Maggie Jordan, along with the libero Grace Freiberger on the floor as that one falls down for the Lady Indians. On the Wampak side, have McKenna Smith, Riley Seligowski among the starters, Kelsey Ball, Hannah Schneider, Nevea White, and Addie Fisher, in the starting lineup tonight for Wapak. That will go a little bit long. Early advantage for Shawnee as Freiberger drops back to serve this one in. Well, Shawnee, if you look at their front line, they're anchored by Kelly Cooper at the front with 170 kills. And I was watching her in the uh, warm-ups, and she can really hammer it down. She builds with a little bit of a finesse there, and it's going to turn into points for Shawnee. That's Cooper in the middle there, wearing it number eight, leading the team in attacks. And here, Freiberger will drop and serve. A first teamer in the Western Buckeye League a year ago, along with Cooper. And then Hutchins, wearing number three, was honorable mention in the conference. And that'll be a service ace for Freiberger. That'd be Freiberger's 28th service ace so far this season. And you can see why. Once you watch her serve it, I mean, that ball just barely clears the net and then dies right on, you know, as soon as he gets to the other side. Courtney Fullenkamp checks in for Wampakinetta. And serve is up for Freiberger. It's going to go right in Cooper's direction. It doesn't make its way over top of the tape. And will stay on Wampak's end. Another receive error on the side of the Redskins. Indians have a lot of uh, seniors out there, too, you know. When you look at uh, Wapakoneta, you know, they don't have as many seniors out there. And like you said, Garrett, it's a new Wapakoneta team. That's not going to get over the top either. You see a handful of juniors for Wapakoneta. Look at the roster right now. No sophomores on the varsity squad this year. A couple of freshmen dotted in as that one's going to go near side wide. And Shawnee starting on quite the roll, Dar, as see Freiberger continue to serve here up 7 to 1. This is one of those early parts of the contest that can really set the tone going forward. Well, you watch that serve. I mean, she's got power behind the serve, and, you know, she makes you have to play it. And sometimes you wonder, you know, is it going to go long and I'm not going to play it? But then all of a sudden, you, you know, you got to try to play it. There's some of the power from Cooper, and it's going to lead to a Wampak in a timeout. It's 8-1, to one. Shawnee over town of the Redskins. We'll take a timeout and be back from Wampak in here on WOSN.
Beasley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and an extensive network that will get you results that move you. Binkley Real Estate bringing you the scoreboard today. Right here on WOSN, Wapakoneta and Shawnee. Grace Freiberger continues to serve as Shawnee on quite the rally. Up eight to one. There's a powerful <laughs> swing from Leah Rudisell and it turns into another score for Shawnee. It seems like that front row has got it dialed in early. Yeah, that's 46 kills so far for Rudisell this year. And and, you know, just looking at the front row for them, they all anchored, like we said, by Kelly Cooper. You know, Cooper a lot of times can use for that as a decoy sometimes, too. Number two in kills is Hutchins, who is a rotation back into the back row. Uh, currently, she's sinking on the team in, the, in total kills. So you've got them spaced out, and that's what you like to have. In your rotations, you like to have somebody that you can definitely rely on and go to that's on the front row, and when they rotate around, you got somebody else that will fill that dotting along the front rotation. Oh, good dig by Freiberger. It's gonna go back to Rodasil, drop it in. Here's the attack by Van Horn on the other side, and Wapa Canetta's leading attacker is able to finally extinguish the long Shawnee rally to start, but Van Horn will go back to serve. 134 kills now. And Van Horn with 14 aces this season. It's gonna go for Cooper. Good block there. Rudisil drops it down. Kept alive by Seligowski. And then Cooper. Good third hit, gets over the top and good rally. For Wapakoneta, and this is a good volley at the moment. Going back and forth, about as good as we've seen early. Cross-court set, oh, and nice great dig. dig. Seligowski. Hutchins keeps it alive. Freiburg with the underhand pass. Just the third hit over the top. I'll tell you, Garrett, this is good volleyball right here. Yes, it is. Cooper. And kept oh. alive. Good job by Kelsey Ball to keep that in the air. And it's going to go uh, long. So that was, they came quickly, a, <laughs> a battle of who was going to. Well, you got to give Walpaw credit on that one, too, because Cooper, you know what she can do when she gets up on that net, and she just hammers it down on you. But the last couple of them, she just kind of tapped it over the top, and Walpaw reacted to it and was able to keep the ball alive. Kenna Smith with the scent for Fisher, and we got a whistle. Gonna give the score to Walpunk and a Shawnee player in the net. 11-3 yeah, now for the Indians. Zeligowski will serve the junior. And that libero uniform, defensive specialist. And a great attack uh, again for Shawnee. Right in the corner, the, right where you want to put it. Nobody over there. Hard to defend. Now serving for Shawnee, Addie Maxwell. Addie with seven aces this year. Her thanks, 331 assists though for Shawnee. That's setter. Send that one. Huh. How about that? Sydney Burris wanted to have a little bit more power behind the swing, but the, the net helped her out to redirect that ball where nobody was defending. Yeah, that's, the net is often your extra player out there on either team. There's the Smith set and a great dig by Maxwell, pushed over by Freiberger. Now Smith sets up for full and camp. It's blocked up front, but it's gonna go outside the chalk and a Wapak score. Yeah, Wapak needs to get a little bit of a run here just kind of kill this momentum that Johnny's got already built up. Good serve received by Hutchins. It's going to knock it over the end. Setting up for full in camp and a whistle at the net. We got Shawnee across the line. And that was a good opportunity for walking out of the string of a few more points together. Need a rally of 
Really putting a few more together to really get back into this set. Shelby already over halfway to the 25 required. And the deflection turns into a third hit over. Here Follenkamp pushes it across. Freiberger sets up for Burris. Popak's able to dig it out. Follenkamp again. Freiberger keeps it up. And so they're going to call it for two hits for Maxwell. Tried to just push that over. And it's like more common error than you would like to see at this level. Or at least maybe one that's called more. Yeah, I've noticed that too. That it's being called more. Bowling camp over. Or sets up for Hutchins. <laughs> and she went on the short side. And he's going to get tipped out by Wapa Kineta. So there, Hutchins hugging the line. Yeah, not much you can do for, about that one there if you're Wapa Kineta. You just try to get your hand on it because it's either going to hit right on that line or, or you're going to touch it one of the two. Cooper serve, it's long, but received by Zelikowski. And Smith had some trouble getting it over the top on the third hit. 10 point advantage, or 10 to go for Shawnee. Yeah, and that's one thing if you're the Redskins, you, you don't want to force theirs, you know, against this Shawnee team. And Cooper, good serve. Bowling camp and Fisher had to track it down back to Hutchins. And not a whole lot that Emily Van Horden could do to dig that one out. Yeah, Hutchins with 96 kills coming into this match. And, you know, she certainly put it right there. You can see her. She gets up really high. I mean, great, good elevation, you know, and then just hammers it down. And she doesn't try to hammer it right straight down. She goes for those corners. Yeah, we got a, a rotation violation by Wapi Kaneta. Weren't set up properly. It's one of those things that we see, you see power and a little bit of finesse here for Shawnee. That makes the uh, Cooper and Hutchins combination pretty lethal. Cooper definitely with the power, a little too much on the serve there to give Wapak the serve back. But then you have Hutchins, as you broke down brilliantly, she can get up there and get on top of the ball and that's always a skill that if you've got some, if you got, if you got the ability to leap, yes. you don't have to be 6'2 to be good no, at this you don't. game. Just get up off the floor, you know, and that's what she's able to do. And like I said, you know, everybody knows what uh, you know, Cooper can do as far as, you know, spiking the ball. So oftentimes you're looking for her, and here comes Hutchin out of that one corner. And there's Smith goes to Van Horn, and she drops it in for a one-pock score. Change in the Shawnee lineup. Maggie Jordan returns as her slot rotates to the back row. Sydney Burris, a good shift up front. And Nevaeh White serves it up for Wampon. A oh. little bump. <laughs> Mackenzie Brickner with the score for the Indians. Yeah, oftentimes it's just that little tap over, just find an empty hole you know, and, and drop it right in there. And a Schneider checks in for Wapak. Ball goes her direction, but then it's sent over. Addie Fisher received that serve, but it clangs off to her right and out of bounds. Five till set point for Shawnee. Carly Hutchins serve is good. Wapak sets it up across. Now Shawnee back on the attack. A little too much power from Leah Rudisil deflected off. And the tribe continues to roll. 45 kills coming into this match for uh, Rudisil, and that's another weapon that the Indians have up front. Good serve and receive. And Orn goes over the top. Freiberger keeps it alive, and a good diving attempt by Hannah Schneider, but Wapak cannot recover, bring it over the net. Well, that was a smart move there by Maxwell, too, for, for Shawnee, just to tap it over. Here's Smith 
Back set to Van Horn, dug by Feinberger. That's going to be whistled dead. Going to get a player in the net for Sean Nee. Didn't get a clear indication on who. Usually that is what is indicated. But Next one is in. Freiberger over to Rudisell. She'll bump it over the tape. Another Shawnee score. That Binkley Real Estate scoreboard has the Indians approaching a first set victory here to start our action. I'll tell you what, Gary, you're starting to see how each one of those individual players play up front for Shawnee, what their talent is. There's an attack for Fisher. Rudisell goes. Zelagowski receives, and now she's just going to have to take that third hit over the top. Good passing for Shawnee. Van Horn on the attack. Dug by Freiberger, and now Cooper with a big swing, and a nice pancake oh, for nice Freiberger. Job. Hit over by Hutchins, and this thing rolls on, and that one's going to fall in. Van Horn. Looked like she had the kill the last time she was set up and was robbed of it. Goes right back to the well and is able to endure and get that points. You got to be impressed with Freiberger, though. I mean, it's 207 digs coming into this match, and you know she's hitting everything back there. And she's wearing that white jersey tonight for a purpose to keep her in the game. <laughs> big hit by Kelly Cooper. Kept up, and there's the big block, and it's going to go over by Van Horn. Oh, nice Look at job. This. Two of the better players in this conference going right back and forth at each other. And it's going to get dropped down by Cooper. Van Horn and Cooper. Great exchange as the Indians have set point in their grounds. Very impressive for both those players on that one there. You know, Van Horn, 142 digs coming in. And, you know, I mean, she's just throwing her body everywhere. Smith to Kelsey Ball, and it's blocked. And will turn into a Shawnee score because it didn't get over top of the, it didn't get over top of the net, so it'd be four hits for Wapa Kinetta. 25-10, your set one final. Shawnee takes the lead, one set to zero. And take a timeout and return to Wapa here on WOSN. Lee's famous recipe chicken and Lima Wapak Delphus and St. Mary's. All Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken. Home style happens here. One set to none. Shawnee over Wapak Canetta. Indians will serve to start the new set. It's Grace Freiberger that drops back to get us started. A 25 10 set one win for Shawnee. Here is a Smith set for Emily Van Horn, and she nails that one just inside the back row line. Put Wapak on the board to begin. And she'll serve right away after getting the point. And like I said, Garrett, this is a, a true test for Wapakoneta to see how they're going to respond after that 25 to 10 setback in that first set. And this set feels like one of the most important in the contest if you are the team that loses, right? If you're the team that's down one to nothing, it's a whole lot easier to storm back when you get this one than it is to try to make up that ground when you're down 2-0. Oh, absolutely. And, and the Redskins saw the gamut of what Shawnee could do in that first set. I mean, everything from power to, to finesse and dropping it in to digs and everything. I mean. The Indians put all of it out there on the line on that first set. So Wapkin has no surprises now what they're going to expect. Here's the Maxwell setup for Burris, kept alive. Hutchins passes up front, and there's Maxwell, or make that Cooper, excuse me, with the big hit. Lee's famous recipe chicken, big spikes for Shawnee. It's going to turn it into a two to one. Second set is Peyton Metzger snuck in on that last substitution to serve. She serves for the second time in a row. 
little strike from Kelsey Ball and usage of the net. Well within the rules there for Shawnee to keep the volley going. Time we're gonna go out side for Sydney Burris. Courtney Follenkamp, and another diving God. dig for Freiburger, and that opens up another opportunity for Kelly Cooper to score. I'll tell you what, with Kelly Cooper, if you don't get both hands cleanly on that one, you're going to try yep. to block it, you're in trouble. Because she's going to drive it right past her hand. So here, Metzger will serve once more. Goes to that back row, where it's met by Van Horn. Eventually powered through for ball. Here's a hit by Burris, and it falls down. And Van Horn was going after it. Zetlikowski was back there, too. And it's just one of those up at Kinetic, clearly a little frustrated with how this contest has began, and it's stretching into set two. Yeah, they're already down 4-1 here in the second set. Fullenkamp pass behind her from McKenna Smith, and Walpark is trying to at least the first objective is to really get on the same page and get a couple of plays executed, get that confidence back. There's Follenkamp, that'll help it, but the hit cross-court attempt is going to be a little wide. So they got the set they wanted there, Dar, just not able to convert. Yeah, and they're trying to, you know, hit it away from, of course, you know, the, the big girls up front for Shawnee, and that's about the only thing you can do. If you can't just drop it in. Great serve by Metzger. There's a smack for Burris. Drops it right in the middle of that Wapak defense. Well, and the tough thing for Wapakonet is every time they look like they're going to have a good spike you know, on the ball, you know, Grace uh, Freiberger back there is yeah. digging it out. A little confusion for Zilligowski. But she's able to keep that alive now twice. Smith with a little bump over the top for Wapak. Now Cooper. And Wapak is able to defend it. There's a hit over the edge for Maxwell. Maxwell set. Cross court for Burris. Zeligowski on the dig. To Smith, now full and camp. And did it get inside that line? Yes, says the line judge on the far left. Right inside the boundary. Oh, that's a kill that Wapak definitely had to have. Down 7-2 now. So Follenkamp with the score. McKenna Smith on the assist. And ooh, Zeligowski just got tied up on her approach, just like a, almost kind of like a bowler. Yeah, that approaching the line. Was, uh, maybe would have done a four-step approach their whole life, told, hey, we're switching to five. And got about halfway down, and oh, yeah. Well, that didn't work. Here's Cooper, no question. Little layup in the middle for Kelly Cooper. And all of a sudden, it's 9-2 Shawnee, right around the time where could see a timeout triggered if they score another here. Well, and the Indians now have Cooper up front there along with Hutchins. And a air on the hit over for Nevaeh White. would be where Coach Brown senses, all right, we just got to continue to play through this instead of calling a timeout in the presence of danger. And it'd be another service ace for Addison Maxwell that time as Zeligowski had to step up. And now Coach Brown finds the right time, sees his te her team a little rattled, and then straighten this out. 11-2 is your score in the second set. We'll be right back after this break here on WOSC. Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and an extensive network that will get you results that move you. Binkley Real Estate scoreboard reads 11-2 Shawnee. They also have a one set to none lead. They're advancing along with Darn Evergall and Dar the Shawnee program. On the rise in a lot of areas, a lot of different sports. Oh. And volleyball certainly in the middle of that conversation. It certainly is. I mean, they, you know, basketball, football is coming around as well. You know, but their volleyball team this year. 
has really put it down. I mean, 11-1 record coming into this one here. This is a nice crowd here, actually, yes. for, a, for a Thursday night, including the little boy sitting over there in the middle. I <laughs> <laughs> guess they figure, you know, we need some extra fans That's over there. That's right. There's the set for Cooper. Not going to get it over top of the net. This is one of those sneaky rivalry games a little bit. Shawnee. Well, they're one not of the that closer far apart. Opponents. Yeah. Yep, south, south portion of Lima. Real easy drive to get over here. Walpock, obviously, with other, other pertinent rivals. Can you talk about St. Mary's and Salina? Well, the WBL across the, the board is oh, just, for sure. I mean, Rivalries all over the place in the WBL. I mean, it used to be Bath Elida, yep. Bath Shawnee, you know. Uh, <clears throat> you could throw all those in there, you know. And and, and you can, like I said at the beginning of this one, you could throw the records out. It doesn't yep. really matter because, you know, once, some, once one team gets on a roll, that's the biggest thing. Volleyball is one of those things, that, you know, a game of momentum, and yes. it can switch at any time. There's the set for Hutchins and block. Up front, big time, and a big score for Wapak. Starting to get some things going here. Three to one since the timeout. Serve here will come from Courtney Fullenkamp. I think that block was white, I think, on there. And she's a, she had 20 blocks coming into this game. And a long serve from Fullenkamp. The records, you know, you, you mentioned to throw them out, but just for a reminder, Shawnee, 11 and one, undefeated in the WBL. Wapak one and three in the conference and five and eight coming into this game. Of course, the Indians still have Ottawa Glendorf yep. to face this year, who's also four and zero in the in the conference. And we see there for Wapak, Seligowski got eaten up on that attempt, coming in from Sydney Burris. And that's another strong point for the Indians because they, you know, they're doing such a good job of serving. There's the set for Smith, but Freiberger quickly gets in the void. Swing for Hutchins is blocked. And a good recovery. There goes Van Horn. Good slap. In the air this time for Leah Rudisell, and she drops it home. Shawnee with another. Score as they go up 14 5 on the Binkley Real Estate scoreboard. Make it 15 5. And that was, there was Freiburger again on a lot of those digs right in the center. There goes Nevaeh oh. White, one handed dig. Shawnee can't quite convert. Another great play for Freiburger. This is defensive. Specialist film tape. Yeah, she's absolutely doing her job tonight. She receives that one. That back set for Hutchins, and it falls in. Nice cross court attack. And Carly with another kill in her pocket. Well, and you look at the kills, like I said, Cooper with 170 coming into this game. game. Hutchins with 96, and she's had some really good hits. And she aims, like I said, she aims for the corners on each side where Cooper goes right down the pike a lot of times. At that time, Van Horn is able to land an attack. Lee's famous recipe, chicken big spike for the Redskins. He was serving McKenna Smith for Wampum. Hutchins receives. Freiberger will knock it over. I don't think that got over the top. No, it didn't. No block at all there for Wapakoneta. So since the timeout taken by the Lady Skins, as that serve goes wide, now a 6-6 six to six even score since that break. Freiberger all the way back around where we began the set serving. A lot of times when she's serving, they get points in bunches. Long rally earlier. She knocks it over. Zeligowski met it. Now Van Horn drops it in off the fingertips of Cooper. Wampa Canetta goes to Van Horn to serve now. 
change of the lineup. And a Schneider off. Courtney Fullen can back in. Redskins putting up a big fight right now. And Hornet. There's Cooper. <laughs> Jordan will check out alongside Rudisil. It will be Metzger along with Burris back in the contest for Shawnee. Tell you what, Garrett, I wouldn't want to be on the receiving side of one of those. No, I would not either. Not without a helmet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A chest protector. Maxwell goes to Burris. Maxwell back sets to Cooper. That'll fall down. Met up front well. Fisher and Fulham Camp are in position. Just not a whole lot you can do to defend it. No, and if you watch Cooper, too, she winds up. I mean, she gets up there high, winds up that right uh, arm, and just hammers, man. Outside to Fulham Camp, blocked by Cooper. That's going to be Wapak points. As it return to the other end of the floor outside the stripes. Without Shawnee's gonna actually take a timeout. Leading 19 to 10, we'll take it to just a brief moment. Return to WOSN. Binkley Real Estate Scoreboard reached Shawnee 19. Walk by 10 after a Shawnee timeout. We'll head back into it. Shawnee leading one set to nothing. Closing in on another set win, but see as Freiberger meets that service. Kenna Smith cross court set for Courtney Follenkamp. Nice dig by Burris. A good idea there by the Redskins though. Fullen camps try met by Metzger. Now there's a back row attack from Carly Hutchins, but a little too strong. Yeah, that's a tough one right here. Try to keep that inside that line back there. And too strong off the serve by Riley Zeligowski. 22-11. Shawnee still closing in. And the serve coming from Addy Maxwell. There's a big block by Cooper on the strike by Fisher. Now back to Fisher, she'll push it over. Maxwell back sets for Burris. That's nope. gonna go too strong. Again, that's another tough one when you're not, you know, when you're back off of the net like that to try to get it to come back down again. Go to Cooper. Deflected twice, but Van Horn will keep it up. Because of the deflections up high, they do not count as touches. They go back to Cooper, and that's going to get hard to be recollected. Van Horn, is he going to make it? Yes, just barely. And out the back end, and going to get this one called against Wapakinetta. Too many hits. I'll tell you what, Garrett, it's 21 to 12, but you cannot fault. Wapakoneta for their effort out there right now because they are really going after everything. I'll grab another, another Redskin score. Get Coop around and get the libero Feinberger back in. able to keep it alive. Now White taps it over. And Shawnee goes Good to Hutchins. Block. But a great dig after the block. And it looks like it's going to fall apart here for Shawnee, but not quite. Freiburg is oh, able to look track at that. it down. Wow, what a good volley. There's Van Horn and out the side. That's one of those rallies you hate to see somebody get a point. <laughs> a 
Indians now within three. Here's Sidney Burris on the serve. And kept in. Now to Hutchins, blocked up front. Big time stop by Nevaeh White. I said White with 20 blocks coming into this match, and she's had three or four of them today. Still a sizable lead for Shawnee. And there Hutchins connects. Switch sides and is able to get that one to fall in. She'll drop back and serve here. Shawnee has been going towards Zeligowski's end on serves. This time, we're gonna go the other end. Here's Van Horn. And Freiberger, Hutchins, and Jordan. Jordan couldn't quite square up that third hit. He had two Shawnee players going after that ball at the same time, and neither one of them could get a clean hit off of it. Great effort, though, just getting it that far. This will set up Rudisil. And he'll hit in. Got the top of the net a little bit. And now set point for Shawnee. Looking to go up two cents to none on the Binkley Real Estate scoreboard. Freiberger serve. And swatted down by Cooper to finish it off. And Lee's big spike at the end of the set. And Shawnee goes up 2-0, two, 25-15 two after the first two sets tonight. We'll take our next time out and return to Wapak Cabin. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. These famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's called Lee's for all you catering needs. These famous recipe chicken home style happens here. It's a spike sponsor tonight, where it's been heavy for Shawnee. They lead two sets to none, 25-10, 25-15. Take a two-set advantage. Opening serve is ricocheted off. And ace, an ace for McKenna Smith to start the third set. Big one for Waplock here, Dar, as they're down two cents to none. And, well, you need one to keep it going. Yep, that's all you need. Jordan digs out the first one, and then Freiberger knocks it over. Smith will set up Van Horn, and Emily gives it a big hit. Dug out by, guess who? Freiberger again. Hutchins sends it over. Van Horn, is, that time will go off of Jordan. And give Wapak a 2 nothing advantage, I believe. It's the biggest lead that Wapak's had all night. Yeah, and they really need to get off at a fast start in this one here. They got off to a decent start in, in set two. They just couldn't maintain it. There's Burris in the back row now. And Kelsey Ball sees it. Punched over by Maxwell. Van Horn fires, and it's in. Changes in the lineup for Shawnee. As the one you see, Addie Kriegel is up front. They give Cooper a little bit of a break here to start the third set. Maxwell underhand pass to Hutchins and she'll tap it over the top. Addie Fisher passes to Van Horn. Wasn't able to really get on top of that ball and send it over. Goes into the twine and Shawnee has it now for the first time in set three. Yeah, that was a tough one for Van Horn. That ball had a little bit of a spin coming off of it, and she just kind of overjumped it. Smith with the pass for Fisher. Now Maxwell sets up Cooper, who comes in. Good block. It did. Get blocked and then tipped. Here Cooper got into the contest on the last rotation, taking out the Kenzie Bruckner. Hattie Fisher with 23 blocks coming into this match. Been effective up there tonight. 
There's a Kriegel attack. And that's going to go off the top of the net. Hit by Follenkamp, and it drops in the kind of no man's land. I said it earlier, the net's often one of you know, your best players out there sometimes. Yep. I've won advantage for the Redskins. There's the Van Horn serve. Now to Cooper. And nobody there. As Fisher got the hit up front, had to vacate that spot, nobody to fill in and take her place. Sammy Reddick checks in to serve now for Shawnee. Some really great sets out there for Cooper and for Hutchins. Reddick goes to the back row. Zeligowski meets it. And she digs it out. Reddick gets a big applause. And they're full in camp. Just Bodies it over the top, not open handed. But it found the empty spot right there in the middle, yes, of, the middle of the court, and that's all that matters. 6 2 lead on the Beakley Real Estate scoreboard for Wampak in the third set. And Zeligowski serves it into the twine. Addie Maxwell to serve next for the Tribe. There's Smith for Fullenkamp. Uh, Walpock might have gone over the top, no. Nope, they're gonna get Shawnee on that one. Into the net. So Addie Fisher is the next to serve for Walpock. 7-3 advantage for the Redskins. That's going to go up top of the net, but Carly Hutchins, good adjustment. And Cooper with a big hit. And she stepped over center line on the attack. That's one I caught. I haven't looked down and came a little too far in front. Wapo doing a nice job at the net right now, blocking those, those spikes by Shawnee. Maxwell has to. Oh. Try to rein it in, but ends up hitting it twice in the process. Ball handling here on a Shawnee. We have timeout for the for the uh, Indians. Their their second of the contest. First of the third set. Third down, nine three. We'll return after this timeout of our own here on WOSM. Wapakoneta shooting up and set me for Shawnee. As the Wapakoneta Ladies Redskins trying to fight and claw their way back. So far, Dar, great start to the second set. It's going to get even better out of the timeout. They get a 10 3 lead. Yeah, I, like I said, you know, Shawnee's only lost three sets so far this season. I don't know how many they've been behind, I guess, you know. But 10 3, you know, it is a little bit of no man's land for them. Addie Fisher gets another ace. And the rally continues. Start to see a little bit more life out of Wampakoneta. And there's a big hit for Sydney Burris to get Shawnee back on track. Now the Indians not playing really all of their the six of the rotation we've seen early through the first two sets. Now sprinkling in some fresher faces. There's a full in camp hit, blocked up front by Hutchins, but eventually falls. Well, the Indians took those first two sets, and the one thing you don't want to do is let this Redskin team hang around like this. Full in camp with the serve. Maxwell to Hutchins in the middle. That's going to get tipped off, and then for good measure, falls inside the painted stripe. Be a swap for Reddick. Kriegel back in the game. And we saw in that one, that spike there, 
what Hutchins likes to do. And I said, she likes to go for the sidelines. She doesn't go down the middle too much with her kills. She likes to go for those sidelines and make you make a decision over there. Smith gets over, Van Horn, met by Burris. Maxwell, what a long cross court, cross court pass for Hutchins. Defended by Walplock. It was White, great dig by Maxwell, tapped over for Brickner. Back to Van Horn. Shawnee is able to get underneath the bat, or get underneath the volleyball. Maxwell to Hutchins, blocks, but Burris keeps it up. Great volley back and forth. There is drop in for Nevea White, able to get the score. That was a great volley back and forth between the two of them, but you know, again, one on a point that just tapped it over. Now White will go back to serve. Kelsey Ball in the game for Wampak again as her spot rotates over. And White serves into the net. Keeping Shawnee around. Only trailing really by a handful. And so we've seen them score in bunches already. Whoa. Great serve for Hutchins. Low line drive. Maxwell to Krieger, hard to handle for Hannah Schneider. Falls down and there's another score for Shawnee as they make it a six point contest on the Binkley Real Estate scoreboard. Well, Krieger was only a, a sophomore. You know, she had 12 kills coming into this match. And, you know, she's a Pretty good tall girl, so she's able to get up on that one. Big block. Maxwell with the little tap, and Walpock runs out of turns to hit the ball. And like you said, Garrett, Shawnee can score in bunches. So no lead that you have is really safe when you're playing against this team. Now Hutchins just a real booming serve. And there, Brickner. Fires it down and gets the score. That looked like a yeah. little bit of contact from both in the net, and it's going to turn into actually two hits for Walpock. Or excuse me, they're going to call it uh, Smith in the net for Walpock. That signified the two digits. A little bit of a knuckleball serve on that one. There's White. Make that Smith. Oh, and good. Oh. Almost pancaked oh. out. For Hutchins. Now Smith will drop back in serve. Goes to Maggie Jordan. Kriegel. A little too strong to handle for Wapak. And the Indians are not lacking for strikers, that's for sure. That's right. Freiburger back there to serve. And that's never been a good thing for Wapakoneta. Good dig for Jordan. Now Hutchins from the back row. Ooh, super close. Makes it 15-10. Emily Van Horn will serve next. Line drive right at Hutchins. Maxwell sets up Cooper. There's a Lee's spike out of Shawnee. You just wonder, you're getting to a point in the contest and see Cooper return. Now Metzger in the, in the contest. And about the time where Shawnee's thinking, all right, let's Let's finish what we started. Yeah, absolutely. But right now, Walpock with some confidence. Yeah, Walpock playing very good volleyball right at the moment. There's a short set to Cooper, and it fired out the back. Yeah, Cooper's the most effective if you get that set right up by the net where she can actually elevate and, you know, slam it down. See it be Metzger on the third hit. Smith 
for Nevaeh White. Diving hit for Burris, and that leads to another Cooper kill. Yeah, when she gets a set, she can actually, you know, elevate all the way up and bring down, you know, she's the most effective at that point. If she's back away from a little bit where she, her power takes it too long then. Diving stop for Freiburger. There's Burris. It's not going to make it over the net. It's been about as close as Shawnee's been able to muster. Four or five. There's Cooper. Smith setting up Van Horn from the back row. Now to Hutchins this time. Good dig out of there. Follenkamp gets a good swing on it for Wapak. And White kind of off balance. That ball was behind her, but she was able to make the adjustment. Follenkamp. Freiburger keeps it up. Shot for Wapak and Cooper. That ball was hovering right at the, yep. right at the boundary. Cooper was going to win the battle. Yeah, that's one of those that she, Cooper's eyes probably got really big and thought, ah, yeah, I like this one. This is like tennis, yep. man. You put it right up there where I can slam it down. Got to be real careful in those instances to make sure he gets over that line of verticality. Shawnee's able to walk away with points there. And we got a whistle of Shawnee in the net. They're going to charge it to Sidney Burris. Wampak will get back-to-back -back scores and will keep the serve. This will put Follenkamp still back to serve. Good serve. To Hutchins, right on the line. We'll put Burris behind the service line. And Addy Kriegel in for Paid Metzner. Hawpaw you know, gets those points, but they can't quite push themselves back out there again to get a big enough margin. Smith the Van Horn, and she lofts it in. Now Hutchins blocked, but Fullenkamp on the rebound. Now Hutchins has it again, had the angle. Sometimes when you don't get it, get that point on that first try, not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes I'm sure you're even able to account for Elisa getting hit back your way once, get the defense out of rotation, and find the sweet spot. Shawnee, as close as they've been this entire set, and that'll be a little closer as this score is ratcheted tighter to 18-16, and will trigger a Wapwak timeout. We'll take it two as that Binkley Real Estate scoreboard starts to wind down in this third set. Shawnee's able to come back. Match is over, or we'll go another first to 25. We'll find out how it finishes when we come back on WOSN. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's is tonight's spike sponsor. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, home style happens here. Shawnee on a little bit of a rally, trailing this entire set to Wapak. They're calling timeout, and they get a big block for Mackenzie Brickner. They're seeing the gap not only close right now, Dar, but they have an opportunity to even it up and more. They go to Emily Van Horn, and it's powered mm -hmm. out the back. Now we're even at 18. Wow. I said the Redskins got out that big lead, but they really just couldn't get over that hump to keep, you know, Shawnee at bay. And Burris now you're going to scratch it out now. Burris' serve goes long. Here's Nevaeh White. Long serve, great communication. Carly Hutchins and Maggie Jordan 
Being on the same page there is alerting Jordan to let that go. And that's the other thing about volleyball. Communication is key. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be talking out there all the time to let each other know where the ball's at. There's a good hit with the left hand for Kelsey Ball to get the kill. That's gotta feel good for Wapak to limit Hutchins to just the one serve. She can do a lot of damage off the side out, but now Wapak just a handful from getting a set win. Into the middle for Brickner, but Wapak keep it up. Blocked and out of bounds. So the Krieger and the Kriegel attack is stopped, but still turns to the Shawnee points. Cooper returns in for Shawnee. And look who's back there to serve for Shawnee yeah. right now, Garrett. Freiberger. She's done a lot of damage from back there. So Legowski met the serve, now Freiberger. And a Cooper. The power in the middle, Addie Fisher. Tried to knock it down, but Again, there has not been much to the, much in the ability to defend that hit in the middle for Cooper and a Wapak timeout as believe that exhausts them for Wapak and we'll take the timeout as well. Back for the conclusion of set three at Wapak, WOSN. Yeah, Wapa Canetta. The serve back in for Shawnee. Trying to mount a valiant comeback in this third set, even though they took the first two sets. Pretty, well, kind of without breaking a sweat almost, and they're going to go up two points. 22 20. It took some work here, Dar, but. It certainly did. They were down, I think, 13 to 5 at, yes. you know, when they started coming back. Quite the rally. Freiberger goes to Zeligowski. Wapak gets it over top of the net. Now to Cooper in the middle. That's going to go down. And the Indians are two points away from taking care of business. But you got to give it to Wapak here in this third set, Dar. No matter which way this flip flops, they showed their fire and their fight. It's just when you put, you can see where the, the success for Shawnee from this season has come. And this is going to play, pay big dividends for Wapakoneta well, for the rest of the season, too, no matter you know, how this outcome comes, like you said. But. There's the hit for Hutchins, and it lands on the cross-court kill. Match point for Shawnee. And like we said, when Freiburger is back there serving for Shawnee, you know, there's a lot of damage that's yeah. being done tonight. She is called Cooper and Hutchins' name a lot on the attacking part, but Freiburger in her defense has been one of the key factors of the match for Shawnee. We got two hits, and that'll close it out for the Indians. 25-20, here in set number three, goes 25-10, 25-15, to seal the 12th victory in 13 matches for the Indians. And what a, you know, you saw, you know, what the talent of the Shawnee team is and the fight from the Wapakoneta team as well. But, you know, Shawnee's just got so many things going for them right now. You know, they got the hits up front. They got Freiburger in there just digging everything out back there. And then when she goes back to serve, you know, she's very effective back there as well because she has a low line drive serve. So a lot of things positive for Shawnee right now. They go to 12-1, and one, you know, 5-0 and oh in the WBL. You know, Wapakoneta drops to 5-9 and nine and 1-4 and four in the WBL. But... Walpock learned a lot tonight, I think, and you can carry that on for the rest of the season. Yes, you certainly can. As Shawnee, and more importantly, in the grand scheme of things, they are still very much in the driver's seat for their in contention for their first Western Buckeye League volleyball crown. Well, Dar, always a pleasure. Yes, it is. Always a pleasure as we close things out. We thank. Binkley Real Estate for sponsoring our scoreboard tonight. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken as our spike sponsor this evening. The crew, Kelsey Beimer and Jacob O'Neill.
Thanks to Megan Sherrick on our editing crew as well. He's Darnevergal here at Vanceville. Thanks for watching High School Volleyball tonight, WOSN.